Assalamu alaikum. Why aren't we allowed to keep dogs as pet? Sister has a question that why aren't we allowed to keep dogs as pet? This is mentioned in the hadith. The main reason that is there is because if we analyze scientifically, Allah knows best, but if we analyze scientifically, today's science tells us that there are certain diseases in the saliva of the dog. For example, one of the most dangerous is rabies, known as hydrophobia. And this can go to people to people. And therefore, there are even hadiths that if a dog licks your vessel, then wipe it thrice with mud. And today science says that if you use mud, the rabies germs can be destroyed. Normal by cleaning with the cloth, it, really, it may be there. So these are scientific evidence. Therefore, getting him in the house, it may lick, it may spread the infection. Therefore, you can keep the dog to guard your house outside. That's allowed in Islam, outside. You can use a hunting dog for having food if you're living in a forest. When you want to pat at the dog, pat only at the head, because that's the part where the tongue cannot reach. Other parts, the tongue reaches of the dog. So these are the guidance given to us in the hadith. Hope that answers the question. Any brothers?